Okay, so we're going to talk about uh, tons of important documents for you next. Um, so you have I-20 or a DS-2019, which is produced in the CVIS. Uh, form I-20 or DS-2019 are very important and you should keep all your I-20s and DS-2019s. You might have several by the time that you complete your study here. Um, I-94 card is a card that should be able to print off online. Um, here, <laughs> see the website below. Yeah. Uh, for all students who, ha have, who have entered U United States since April 2013. Next one, which is really important, is your passport. Uh, it should be valid all the time. And uh, the last thing is visa. As long as you maintain your F1 or J1 status, you can actually have an expired visa while, you, while you're in the United States. Um, however, when you leave the United States, you must renew your visa in order to re-enter the United States. So this is how the first page of your I-20 looks like. <laughs> So here is what the first page of your I-20 looks like. Please note the following important information. CVIS ID number. You will need this number to pay your CVIS I-901B prior to your entering the US. B, educational level. For most MSU degree-seeking students, this field says either bachelor's or master's. Program start date. This is the date by which you must enter the U.S. for the first time. It's usually the first day of classes or the date of new international student orientation. The date by which students must report to MSU. Program end date. This is the estimated time by which you will complete your studies at your current degree level. You can request to have an end date extended but you must do so prior to the end date. Normal length of study. This is the time frame MSU estimates that you will complete your program of study. Once you receive the information contained on page one of your I-20, you must sign your I-20 with your name and write the date on it. You must do so on every new I-20 you're issued. The second page of your I-20 must be signed prior to your departure from the U.S. if you intend to return. If the second page isn't signed, you will not be able to re-enter the U.S. with your I-20. Travel signatures must be less than one year old upon your return to the U.S. Page 3 of your I-20 is not shown, but please read the third page of your I-20. It has important information regarding your immigration status. If you have any questions about anything you read on page 3, please ask a member of the IS office. This is example of a current arrival and departure record or I-94. This document can be printed and reprinted from the internet. It also contains the I-94 number or admission number. The expiration date is also indicated. This should say D-S, which means duration of status for all F and J students. If your I-94 card has a date or does not say D-S, please notify the IS office immediately. Ensure that your name, passport number, passport country of insurance, date of entry, and class admission are correct. If any information on your I-94 is incorrect, please notify the IS office immediately. Last but not least, this is what the US F1 visa looks like. And J1 visas are very similar. It contains the following information. A, visa type. For most of you, this is F1 or J1. B, expiration date. You can be in the U.S. legally with an expired F or J visa as long as your I-20 or DS-2019 is valid. However, if you depart the U.S. on an expired visa, you must reapply for a new visa before re-entering the U.S. 
please remember to keep your documents current, which means don't allow your passport to expire. Request an extension to your DS 2019 or I-20 before it expires. You can request an extension in the IS office. And please remember, if your entry visa has expired and if you remain inside of the US, that is okay.